technically it was really difficult, but it was a lot of fun. Um, it was um, a really nice extension of what I was trying to do, which is to create an atmosphere with the work. Even though it's all code-based and it's all video, um, I like it when a viewer is enveloped by the work I make. So, you know, that's previously taken the form of large-scale video projections and installations. Um, this was a really logical kind of next step for that, to be able to do something in a dome that's all encompassing. This has been a different experience for me because uh, primarily I make work that's open temporarily. It runs as software, so a viewer can stay with it for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, or 30 seconds, whatever, whatever they choose. And so this had to have a definite duration, and so that made it a little bit difficult to kind of navigate um, what I want them to experience from the piece. Because typically I expect uh, I, viewers will tend to spend a longer time with the piece and kind of just settle down with it, kind of slow down and kind of um, just take in the system of play. Here I kind of wanted to work with the architecture of the space. Um, I really wanted to activate the dome as sort of a concrete character in the piece and to um, really activate that space and make it feel as if that was impeding on the viewer's sort of own personal space. So that's been, for the past couple of years, an overriding concern is trying to evoke uh, uh, physicality and to evoke depth and to evoke this sense of the objects occupying a concrete space that goes beyond just the flat of the screen. And so that was sort of the beginning point of this project, is just how can I make these objects feel as if they're, they're sort of towering over or looming over the viewers in the space. I mean, one of the things that I've always been interested in is, is emergence, this idea of lots of simple rules, lots of objects following lots of simple rules, yields the impression of complexity, yields the impression of a higher sort of conscious playing out. And so I've always been interested in the idea of just letting these little objects, these objects, these agents in the scene behave, giving them rules, letting them make some of the decisions, and sort of serendipitously seeing what I get back from and so it's uh, a combination of building these systems where there's some unpredictability in them, um, coupled with fine-tuning those systems so it's not completely chaotic, so that it's not completely random. So I'll start with a base system in mind, um, avoidance, attraction, things like that, um, and, then, and then sort of begin to build the visuals around that system. And so in this case, it was a series of objects that were sort of um, simply were sort of attracted towards the center of the space, which is where the cameras were, which is where the audience was. Um, but at the same time, they were told to keep their distance from each other. So they could kind of only get in a certain distance and they would kind of bounce back out. And so you sort of end up with this kind of feeling as if they're teaming around in the dome and kind of teaming on the, into the audience's space. 